I'm tired of dropping my phone on the ground. I'm tired of my fat finger being in the way of the lens and ruining the video. I'm tired of using cheap cell phone holders for video or photos and my phone going bloop or bloop 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 or bloop or bloop. Seriously, I'm tired of going home after making videos and my video is ruined because my fat finger is in the way because I'm trying to hold my phone like this or the audio is blocked because my big mouth can't get through my fat hand and I have no audio. <laughs> Seriously, people, I'm not kidding. I cannot tell you, uh, and better yet, let me preface this by saying, most of the time, I use my Canon G7X Mark II for my videos, especially what I'm shooting right now. When I do close-up shots of products, either be it photos or uh, video, when I wanna show you the real intricate parts of a backpack, a hammock, a tarp, I use my cell phone. It's just better for getting really up close and personal. When I do tabletop reviews, which isn't very often, I don't really particularly care for them, but you gotta be honest, sometimes a product does not meet, need to be tested out here in the wilderness, right? Something that is a tabletop review, I use my cell phone. I cannot tell you how many times I had another product, and it's unfortunate because they are a very well-known camera tripod accessory company right i have my phone set up i'm behind it i'm doing my uh, my tabletop review and no matter how much i crank that thing down my phone would go boop or boop i mean all the time i've used it out here with that little device again i won't say their name horror but i mean it constantly if i moved my, my phone was literally rocking back and forth, no matter how much I cranked it down. Took my phone out of this fantastic case, which I don't like doing because when I'm out doing my thing, yes, I do drop my phone. I got tired of it. I got tired. I, seriously, I'd go home and my, my fat finger was in front of the lens and I got to reshoot the video and it just, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I said, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. I looked around and... This is what I bought. This is the S2 from a company called Shoulder Pod. This is what we're gonna look at today. <sighs> now that I'm done ranting, <laughs> the S2 from a company called Shoulder Pod. You're looking at, I believe, $40, give or take. They actually do sell a bunch of different items, um, different grips, small grips. You don't want the wooden handle. You don't have to have the wooden handle. You can get the little knob there. It works just as fine. You don't want the strap. I like the strap because, again, I'm out here in the woods and the sand pits, wherever, and I do drop my phone, as, along with everything else. Um, look. Yeah, exactly. See, vertical this way, it will hold. This is the Galaxy from Samsung. This is the Note 5. This is a big phone with a rather decent sized case. The case isn't huge. It does, it's very form fitting, but if, and there's still more room. I don't think you need to go bigger. Most people aren't going to have a phone larger than the Galaxy Note 5. I do believe. So now, I mean, it is secure. Look at it's not going anywhere. I mean, that is beautiful. It does have a removable wooden handle. I'm gonna show you some close-up shots uh, pretty soon. My phone is, I mean, that is fantastic. Now, I don't have to worry about my fat finger getting in the front of the lens or touching the buttons as I'm holding the phone. That happens a lot. This is comfortable. I like this. I like this a lot. All right, everybody, so here we have the S2 shoulder pod, right? Now, this is plastic. It is a very thick, a very uh, strong, hard plastic. You do not have to worry about that breaking, at least not just holding a cell phone. Um, does not have to be metal. You screw this here, it screws down onto the phone or to lift it up off the phone. We do have some rubber. Uh, pads in here for trash control, uh, control. Obviously, your cell phone slides right in there. Here we have the handle. 
It is wooden, very nice. This unscrews. You can screw this onto your tripod if you so wish. And then here is a nice nylon connected to a piece of leather. This comes off if you don't want that. And you just have the handle. Put that on. Screws back on, nice. Tighten that down and voila, there you go. It really such a nice, you can still put that on top of a, uh, like a, a, um, a monopod, a tripod. What a fantastic piece. I haven't really, I'm usually utilizing the strap just basically for this video, but I ha really don't need the strap. I mean, when I have that in my hand, I'm not letting go. They do have other pieces you can buy. You can buy a bracket that comes across with another one of these. So you can have two hands. You can have the bracket with a piece going up with another uh, piece you buy from them to hold a microphone or a light. It really is a great product, everybody. My camera's not working with me today. So, yeah. Shoulder pod S2. Well worth the money. Well worth the money if you take photos, especially video with cell phones. All right. Well, I'm, I'm telling you, this is a fantastic product. You're looking at, I believe, $39.99, 40 bucks. Uh, they are on Amazon. You can have it to your door. Two days. Always links below. Look, if you take photos, especially if you do videos. I hate when people do that. I really do. Hold your phone. It drives me nuts watching videos where people shoot it like that. Well, it would be like that. It drives me nuts. But look, it's even better if you have to absolutely do it that way. But I prefer you do it this way. Everything is horizontal, not vertical, you know, please. But anyway, great device. I love this thing. $40. It's so worth it. It is. Tightens down on your phone. They do tell you don't crank it down to You don't have to. I did a little bit of snug and it fits. It's fine. For those of you that make videos, if you're using your cell phones, especially doing tabletop reviews, that's what I do. When I do uh, close-up shots, video, when I do my outside at night uh, video reviews of flashlights. I use my cell phone. It just looks better than my regular camera in the dark. And when I do tabletop reviews, I use something to hold my phone. Now, this, hook it onto the bottom base plate of your uh, tripod mount and you are good to go. Be well, everybody. Please stay safe. Links in the box below for the Shoulder Pod S2. They do make other uh, devices, all kinds of stuff, handles, longer handles, things for a microphone. They have it all. Go check them out. Bye.